Canada. How beautiful is your Canadianness? Where does it hurt, Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> you always well, make the same joke. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay, he's Mike. You could sing. Uh, all right. He's Mike. I'm Mike. I'm Ed. Yeah, someday we're going to switch that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I am slowly becoming my father. Today we have another Canadian whiskey. And yeah. this one is not the usual stuff right. we've been drinking. Yeah, so. might not be horrible. <laughs> right. Sorry, we've, we've we, had some good stuff. We make fun of Canada all we the time. We do, yeah. Uh, Our little sister country. Yeah, right. Our little <laughs> sister country. Oh, uh, we're mean. Anyway, so this is 1867 blended Canadian whiskey. All right. First question uh, out of my mouth is going to be not as it good, but where does the name come from? So 1867 is the year uh, Canada was confederated. So all the it sounds dirty. Yeah, right. Uh, so all the all the different parts of Canada came together and formed like a proper. Oh sure. Well, um, not a, not a proper country. A, a country. A country. We it's s- it's to get those French people. Kind in. of a country. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> you know the Queen is technically still their head of state. Wow. Yeah, they didn't have the guts to break away. Kind of like oh Sc- yeah, right. Kind of like at, Scotland. You look at the money. Yeah, it's all <laughs> the Queen on there. Crazy stuff. Um, anyway. Yeah. Um, what do we know about this one? So, uh, this is actually, uh, they take Canadian whiskey. Yeah. They bring it down to Louisville. Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. Um, and, uh, they blend it down there. So I was trying to figure out where the original distillery is. Yeah. Um, it's gotta be one of the big guys. Um, I don't know if it's Hiram Walker or who, but I couldn't find who they're sourcing, sourcing it from. Um, all we know is that... Mellowed in white oak, blend of Canadian whiskeys, bottled by Clear Creek, Clear Creek, no, Clear Springs, Clear Springs Distillery uh-huh. down down Kentucky. It smells very Canadian, uh, light, sweet, kind of typical, yeah. Uh, a little bit of kind of a charred wood smell, kind of a white oak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, usually what they do with the with Canadian blends is part of it is done in new oak. The stuff they they're really like flavorful whiskey. They mm-hmm. do a new oak, and then they use refill for all like the the filler whiskey. The kind of all the stuff they ship down to the states. <laughs> 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 well, and so yeah, they'll blend they'll blend really lightly flavored stuff with their heavier flavored I'm rye. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> yeah, he was saying even before we started this episode, he was saying he's gonna he was gonna make fun of Brad Leclerc. No, <laughs> <laughs> just Canada. Yeah, yeah, it's. Sweet, little, something kind of fruity in there. I'm getting ethanol off there too for forty percent. I'm surprised. Just a touch. All right, let's get a taste. Probably because it's a little thinner and the the, the flavor. Yeah, is. true. Yeah, we'll see with the taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's not green. It's very good. Yeah, it's uh, not overpowering in anyone's shape or form. It's it's sweet. It's brown sugary. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a molassesy. Yeah, kind of molassesy. Got a little. I can't tell what that fruit is, but it's something something a little estery there. Yeah, caramel. Yeah, I don't. It's not like overly complex. It's not like bringing in any ridiculously crazy notes right like it, it's it's in the canadian wheelhouse yeah but no. it does it very very well it's a solid blend yeah it really it, is it's yeah no this is a, a definitely a go-to yeah oh yeah no this is this the is daily drinker yeah yeah <laughs> i like this stuff but quite before a bit. we stipulate that mm. what did the bottle cost 15 Oh, wow. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. I'm I mean, I, yeah, I brought, well, actually, I think it runs cl- closer to 20. Usually I got it on sale. Wow. But yeah, 15 bucks for this. I've got some 15s coming up on the Worst Whiskey <laughs> Watch Wednesday that this puts to everything to shame. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah it's, like I say, it, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Good job. Good on you, Canada. I think this is the first Canadian we have on here, we've had on here that, uh, we haven't ripped apart mercilessly. <laughs> yeah, well, Royal Crown was actually a good blend, mm. too. That's true. Uh, yeah, uh, had, uh, Crown Royal, you mean? Yeah, that's what did I say? Royal Crown? Royal Crown. Yeah. yeah. Crown Victoria? Crown Victoria. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What I meant to say. Yeah. 
So yeah, no, okay, that was that was okay. Second second Canadian whiskey <laughs> that we've had on here that we didn't hate because uh, well that one was fully rye too. Right, the last one. So this one's a little different. This is a, this tends a little more towards the sweeter corn kind of flavors. So, cool. but yeah, so that's 1867 Canada. Thank you for existing. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> what will we do without you? Until next time, this has been the Rocket Review. Hey, he's Mike. Nope. I'm Ed, and make we're sure, in Milwaukee. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description. And YouTube. And YouTube, yeah, subscribe. Yeah. If you're watching. Do us. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. And until next time, hey. stay, stay rotten. rotten.